We were first contacted about the space earlier this year. When we first made a site visit, we were quite awed by the height of the whole thing. But immediately we sort of figured out that it would be an acoustic nightmare. When we met the team that's involved with this concept, right away we knew that this is going to be something very, very different from your regular supermarket concept. We were briefed that there would be events held here. Uh, there would be music, be bands. So we figured out that very quickly on that a regular system wouldn't work here. So having experience with all this and worked with KRA before, we know that we, we have a very, very high directivity speaker uh, in all the KRA line. When we started out, we actually put the speakers a little bit too high. The eventual design is slightly different from what we initially started with but it's been fine-tuned to suit the space. What you hear right now is very nicely distributed sound. You still can hear exactly what the music's about, what the announcement is about, but you don't get that very annoying, mid-low reverberance muddying everything up. I think what's really shone through is the aesthetics of the speakers, besides the performance, K-rays, all of that. The nice thing about the amount of drivers in a KK52 and a KK102, we've got 16 in a KK102, You've got eight of them in a KK52. By design, the stack drivers allow very long throw with very high clarity. Key to the whole system is the DCM1E, which allows them to control all parameters of the sound system here via any web-enabled device. You can adjust volumes, you can choose your sources, and that's important because there's a number of input plates here. The DCM1E allows for different sources to be input via remote input plates, such as the band. They've got an input plate to allow for a mixer. There's LM tools that's available around the facility, so they can plug in an iPod or a microphone anytime and run a localized event in a corner. It also allows for different source selection because there's so much going on. There's background music, there could be a band, and the different rooms get to be able to play different sources of music. That's what the DCM1E allows it to do. And for us, it also allows us remote management. As and when the customer allows us to, we can remotely dial in to, to check on the status of the, 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 the zoning system. If some settings have been done that they don't know how to revert, we can do it from anywhere we are in the world. We dial in and then we can make settings change. It's really what the future is about. You don't expect the customer to know exactly how to run a complex piece of equipment like a DCM1E. The technical services that we have can sit in the back end and when the customer has a problem, we're able to service them right away instead of having to wait for a service call. Apparently they are going to be expanding. This group is a very dynamic group. We're very proud to be associated with them. And we do see them expanding to many other parts of Asia.